In this video, we are going to discuss the topics that are in your module, na, module for Mathematics 9 for weeks 4 to 5 found on page 18 to 21. So I think I'll, I'll make this a two-part video para hindi kayo masyadong overwhelm. So if you notice, dun sa module ninyo, sa, for weeks 4 to 5, lahat ng mga given equations may mga fractions. Okay? Kasi pag sinabi mong rational algebraic expression or rational, they are actually in fractions. So, um, sa learning task 1 nyo, you are asked to find the least common denominators of the following expression. So, ano yung least common denominator? I think naaalala nyo naman to kasi elementary pa lang. Sinabi na ako ano yung least common denominator sa inyo. Tinuro na po sa inyo. So, Para ma-refresh kayo, yung least common denominator, these are the, yung common, dun, yung, yung, ito yung number, term, or expressions na pwede mong i-divide sa lahat ng mga denominator. Ganun ka-literal. Ganun lang siya. Okay? So, paano ba siya maghanap? Kunyari, we have example sa number 1, we have um, 2 over 3 and 6 over 5. So, anong least common denominator nila? So, anong number na pwede kong i-divide sa 3 tsaka sa 5? Yung iisang number na yon or iisang term na yon. So, actually, ang pinakamadali is just to multiply that. To multiply them. So, ang LCD niyan is 3 times 5 which is 15. Diba? Pwede mong i-divide yung 15 sa 3 and yung 15 sa 5. Okay. So, kailangan yung pinakalis, yung pinakamababang number or expression na pwede mong gamitin to divide the denominators. Okay, another example. We have, for example, 2x over 3 plus x plus 1 over x. Okay, so mga denominators natin ay 3 and x. So, ang LCD lang yan is, multiply lang natin, 3 times x is 3x. Okay, another example. We have, for example, um, x minus 5 over 2x plus x plus 1 over x minus 2. Okay, so, Dito, ang mga denominator natin ay 2x and x minus 2. Again, yung LCD niya, you just multiply it, magiging 2x times x minus 2. So, that is our least common denominator. Okay, so another example is that this uh, given expression, x over x plus 2 plus 3 over x squared minus 4. So, sa previous example natin, minumultiply lang natin sila kasi wala naman silang mga common factors. E dito, if you take a look at this, x squared minus 4, okay, kapag finactor ko yan, naalala nyo yung, ano nyo sa grade 8 nyo, nung special, um, 
sum and difference of squares, mga special products of binomials. Okay. Sabi doon, meron tayong ano na, a squared minus b squared is equals to a plus b, a minus b. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, itong x squared minus x, yung first term, perfect square siya. Yung second term, perfect square din siya. So, pwede siya mag-fall dito. So, kung ipa-factor ko yung x squared minus 4, ang factor niyan ay x plus, ang squared ng 4 ay 2, and then x minus 2. So, makikita nyo dito na merong common factor sa mga, sa denominator. So, yung x plus 2 kaparehas ng isang factor dito. Okay? Kasi, kapag minultiply lang natin yung x plus 2 tsaka x squared minus 4, madodoble. Kailangan nga yung least, pag sinabing least common denominator. So, kapag meron silang same factor, pag-iisahin mo lang sila. So, ang LCD of this given is simply x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, now let us now try to solve this using yung napagtalo, natutunan natin sa pagkuha ng LCD. Um, when you solve quadratic equation na merong rational algebraic expression, and then you have, kailangan, itatransform mo siya into standard form. Standard form, meaning, napapansin nyo yun sa standard form, walang fraction, di ba? Para mas madali siyang sagutan. So, for this example, we have x plus 6 over x equals to negative 5. Kailangan, mawala si x dun sa ilalim ni 6. Okay? So, pag, pag naka-fraction siya, ang, ang operation nito is division. Okay? And then, the opposite operation of division is multiplication. Okay? So, para ma-eliminate ko si x sa baba, kailangan kong mag-multiply. Ano yung imamultiply ko? So, since x ang kailangan kong mawala, okay, magmumultiply ako ng x sa buong side ng left term. And then, at the same time, dahil nagmultiply ako sa left, kailangan magmumultiply din ako sa right. Anong imumultiply ko? Siyempre, x din. Kasi, x ang minultiply ko sa left, so I should just multiply x to the right. Okay, and then, let us um, simplify this. So, by distributive property, x times x, that is x squared. Tapos, distribute mo x times 6 over x, that is, so plus 6 over x over x. C equals to negative 5x. Okay? Now, anong pwede kong, ano, pwede mawala? So, you just have to cancel yung x. Okay, because x divided by x is 1. Okay, so after that, let's rewrite it again. x squared plus 6, na wala na si x, equals to negative 5x. And then, transform it into standard form. x nasa kabila si negative 5x. So, kabalik na rin ng negative is positive. Kaya mag pa plus 5x ako sa right. Siyempre, magpa plus 5x din ako sa left. And then, I will have x squared plus 5x. Unahin natin si linear term. And then, last c, constant term, which is 6, equals to, this becomes 0. Okay, another example. We have x minus 6 over x minus 3 is equal to 2x over x minus 3. Okay, on this example, notice that the denominator are the same. So, anong LCD niya? Ang LCD niya, since parehas naman sila, that is x minus 3. Hindi ko siya kailangan i-multiply because they are already the same. Okay, so anong gagawin natin sa LCD na to? Para mawala kasi yung nasa... Um, denominator, we are going, so let me rewrite it again, 6 over x minus 3 is equals to 2x over x minus 3. So, we are going to multiply x minus 3 to the left side 
And syempre, katulad ko anong ginawa mo sa kaliwa, gagawin mo din sa kanan. So, you multiply to the right also, x minus 3. And then, using distributive property, you just multiply, magiging x times x minus 3 equals 6 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 equals to 2x times x minus 3 over x minus 3. So, ano pwede natin i-cancel dyan? Pwede natin i-cancel si x minus 3 dito and x minus 3 dito. Since ito ay naka-multiplication yan. Pero kapag may plus sign, hindi ka pwede mag-cancel. Kailangan naka-multiplication siya. And then, of course, you have to use distributive property para dito. So, ano magiging sagot na natin? This becomes x squared minus 3x. Dito, natira na lang si 6 equals, ang natira dito is si 2x. Okay? And then, pag samasamahin natin lahat sila sa kaliwa, sa left side. So, kailangan natin mailipat si 2x. Since 2x is positive, kabalik na lang ng positive is negative. Subtract 2x to both sides. Negative 2x. So, this becomes x squared minus 3x. Pagtabihin na natin silang may uh, linear term. Minus 6 equals to 0. And then, we can combine 3x and negative 3x and negative 2x. Our standard form now is x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals to 0. So, pag naka-standard form na siya, you can now, or naka-standard naka form na siya ng quadratic equation, it, it will be very easy for you to solve the quadratic equation. Okay, another example. So, again, we are going to look for the LCD. So, ang LCD natin ay magkaiba, yung denominators natin magkaiba, x and 4. Wala naman silang common factors. So, you just multiply them. So, ang LCD natin is 4 x. We are going to use that to the equation so that we can eliminate the denominators in the equation. So, we multiply 4x to both sides. 4x and then 4x. So, this becomes 6, 4x times 6x is what? 24x over x plus, so 4x times x minus 3 over 4 is equals to 8x. So, by this time, we can cancel the x and then the 4. Okay? So, the is 24 plus, so distributive property magiging plus x squared minus 3x equals to 8x. Again, we just move everything to the left side, all the terms to the left side, para mas maganda tignan, uunahin natin yung quadratic term, linear term, and then the constant term. Okay? So, we have x squared minus 3x, and then itong 8x becomes negative 8x, plus 24. Simplify. This is x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals to 0. So there, that is your quadratic equation in standard form. Okay, another one. We have 2x plus 1 over 3x minus x plus 1 over x squared. So yung mga denominators na nakikita nyo, meron silang common factor. Ano kaya sa tingin nyo? So, that is yung x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, hindi ko siya basta-basta i-multiply. Others, magiging 3x cubed to. ba? So, ang least common denominator niya lang is 3. Okay? So, ang least common denominator niya is 3. Ngayon, ano gagamitin natin? Yung x or yung x squared? Kasi kung x lang ang gagamitin ko, hindi ko maka-cancel out. Hindi ko hindi ma ka-cancel out si x squared. So, gagamitin ko yung may pinakamataas na exponent, which is yung x squared. Okay? So, yan yung least common denominator natin. Okay? Again, we are going to use this least common denominator 
in eliminating the denominators in the equation. Ay, kulang pala tong equation ko. Equals to 3. Ko. Equals to 3. Yan. Minus x plus 1 over x squared equals to 3. Again, we just multiply. So, we just multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which is 3x squared. Okay? So, 3x squared Okay, so 3x squared times 2x plus 1 divided by 3x minus 3x squared times x plus 1 divided by x squared is equals to 3 times 3x squared is 9x squared. Okay, so ano makakancel natin? Yung isang x and then yung 3. Okay, so matipid. Dito, makakancel natin is yung x squared. Okay, so ano mga natira? So, x times 2x plus 1 minus 3 times x plus 1 is equals to 9x squared. So, distributive property, this becomes 2x squared plus x minus 3x plus 3 equals to 9x squared. And then, if you combine them, so magiging negative 9x squared plus 2x squared. So, x minus 3x is negative 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Nagkulang na ako ng space. Dito ko na lang ilalagay sa taas. I'm sorry. So, magiging final answer natin. Negative 9x squared plus 2x is negative 7x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Simplify mo lang siya. Okay. So, there you have it. Um... I will do a part 2 of this um, video para naman doon sa prob yung mga word problems na give, uh, given sa learning modules ninyo. So, I hope this video will help you in understanding and solving quadratic equations and rational algebraic equations. So, enjoy and have a blessed day.